Our next in-studio guest, 18 years old. This blows my mind and more talent than I could ever dream in a lifetime. She's one of the ri fastest rising country singers in music right now. She's joining me and I'm so excited. We're going to talk and then she's going to be performing for us. Her name is Liddy Clark. Hi, Liddy. Hi. Quite the intro there, right? Yeah, good job, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank God. They got to keep me around once in a while, you know? <laughs> so 18 years old. Yep. Almost 18 and a half, actually. My half birthday is on the 28th. So. See, when you're as young as you are, you're like, I want to be 18 and a half. I'm no. 38. The last thing I'm saying is like 38 and a half. I'm like, I want to say I'm, I'm 18. I'm good. I want to be a teenager. I'm very happy being young right now. So. Well, congrats on everything. Thank you. You got a new single. You're yeah. a singer-songwriter. Tell me all about yourself. Well, I mean, I'm 18 years old. You know that. And I've been singing and songwriting for about 11 years now. And, uh, yeah, this new single that I just put out about a few months ago, it's called Painted by Numbers. I am super excited. I wrote this song about two years ago, and it was, I was 16. I was plagued with insecurity and doubt, as many teenagers are. It's about are. body image, this song. It is. It's about learning how to love yourself in a world that's so full of hate and insecurity and doubt. And it's just a message of positivity, you know, and I think the world needs it, you know. Uh, all right. Uh, you know, we are going through this period right now where body image, especially for young ladies, yeah. is such an important topic. We're seeing uh, increased rates of depression, increased rates of suicide right now. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about being your age. What do women go through? What do young ladies have to go through? Because with bullying and everything else, it's got to be difficult being your age. Yeah, well, I mean, it definitely starts around the age of, like, puberty, you know, and I think it's just getting younger and younger as the age goes on, you know. Like, younger and younger girls are going through this because I have a little brother right now, and I just see girls his age are, like, starting to go through these self-doubt and these images of themselves nowadays, too. And it's just, you see all these movies and these magazines, and you see all these ads telling you that you need to lose weight and you need to look a certain way, and it's just all of this negativity and... With this song, I just, I want to be more positive. I want to say that you can love yourself without thinking that you're perfect. You can uh, be happy with who you are and still want to, you know, make yourself better. Being able to express yourself through music mm -hmm. and to make statements like this, to, to, to just say what's going on in your head through this, what does it mean to you? It's honestly amazing. I love being able to write songs that are such statement songs, you know, because those are some of my favorite types of songs. I'm a big music junkie, as you can probably tell. But it's just amazing because I try and invoke such types of emotions out of people and being able to get this response from other types of people who have gone through similar situations as me, it's just... It's honestly what I do this for, so. There's another young lady, she's still really young, but mm -hmm. she started out as a country star, kind yeah. of at your age started hitting it. Her name's Taylor Swift, of course. Oh, I have no idea who Yeah, that is. I mean, <laughs> it's only the biggest star only on the, the planet now. Only the reason I started songwriting. <laughs> is it really? I mean, yeah. I was gonna ask you that. Who are the people you look up to? But obviously Taylor is one of them. Yeah, definitely the reason I started songwriting. I was a huge fan of hers, like even during her first album, like I was there from the beginning. But um, also some other inspirations of mine are definitely, you know, Chris Stapleton, Kenny Chesney, Brothers Osborne, and also some non-country inspirations. I really love John Mayer. He actually just came out with a new single he did. today. He oh did. my gosh, I listened to the first half of it before I came in here. And uh, I also really love Parachute, Gavin DeGraw. I love listening to rap music on the treadmill. And Hold you on, know, do you know do you know some rap by heart? You gonna rap for me? Oh my gosh, the only rap I know by heart is the one from Baby and Justin Bieber. <laughs> No, that's, that's not rap. That's, yes, it that's is. That's not called rap. There's yes. Real, Bieber is not rap. Well, Those he's not the are... one who's rapping. I think it's ludicrous, actually. Is it? Yeah. This is how out of touch when I am. I was 13, I had my first love. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. What makes, like, all right, so Taylor Swift. <laughs> I, I'm not going to embarrass I'm like, I, I, I would ask you to go, but you're too talented to just go with that. What makes someone like Taylor, like, why do you connect with someone like her? I think it's because she's so raw and so real and because her lyrics are just so tangible and you feel like you can just walk up to them and like you can imagine your life in those lyrics and any teenage girl around the country can feel that and I think that's what's made her so talented and so marketable and so amazing and she is just amazing. I mean there's no other words to describe her other than genius. One of the things she's done so well, and I'm going to bring this back to you, is outside of just being talented, yeah. she understands the business. Her and her team have mastered yeah. the business. They, they're writing the playbook on how to very create a brand. Very intelligent. 
when you look at someone like that as a young artist, how do you want your career to unfold? Where w what would you like to see yourself and your team do over the next 5, 10, 15 years to build Liddy Clark into a, a major brand? Well, I mean, obviously, if I was able to model it after Taylor Swift's career, that would be amazing. But, you know, nobody can be the next Taylor Swift. Nobody can be the next anybody. I just want to be the first Liddy Clark. And, I mean, I just want to keep going up from here. And I know there's going to be hills and trows and all those different types of battles. But I just, one day and over the next few years, I want to be able to play a show. And I just want to hear people singing the words back to me of one of my original songs. That's number one goal currently. Is it hard being a normal kid? Like when you're experiencing success, is it hard being normal and staying normal around your friends, your family? Honestly, no, because whenever I'm on the road, I always feel a little weird coming into like all these places and like then I go back home and like my little brother still treats me like, why would you come in in my room, Liddy? You're not supposed to be in here. Like he's a little 13 year old and like you know, I'll still watch football with them. I'll still, like, have family time. And I think that's really what keeps me down to earth and, like, humble and chill.